<laughs> Charlie, morning, morning, morning. <laughs> morning. Happy. I'm well, Charlie. Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, good to see you too. I, I hear the, uh, this is the, um, this is your judgment period. <laughs> <laughs> the, this is the time they, they get to chop you into pieces and put you on, on chinchinga uh, sticks and roast you heavily. Hey! Okay, not yet. When the awards are over, that that be where the fiery squad they come, eh? It's actually it's both ways, but this time around the heat is like you know from this particular point. So that's quite. Uh, so how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I mean it's 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 um it's okay, I guess. Do you think it's normal? Normal for for you, as in the the ambush in the night and all guns aiming at you. Oh, oh, it's it's normal. I mean these are these are human. These are reactions expected from people. So. Um, it's normal. Okay. Congratulations. 25 years. Thank you. Telesale Ghana Music Awards. Okay. At the awards, you explained why the move to TGMA, from VGMA to TGMA. Even in this house, we kept asking, yet you weren't forthcoming with the result or the answer. But finally, finally, it's outdoor. At least you, you as we all know, Charterhouse, and even with your job, it will always be on 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 that clandestine level. Definitely, you wouldn't come and and say it. Just as we all know, you'll always keep it until the curtain call. Um. So now that people are crying wolf <laughs> or foul over nominations. Did you expect anything less? Oh, well, um, well, thank you. But um, why I'm saying this is normal is the fact that um, um, you know everybody wants to be in the number, and so then you know sometimes you even watch football matches and then or boxing. Please, match. you have to speak up. You watch <laughs> you watch <laughs> football, or let's say even if it's about and you know, your person does not win. Then you go like, ah, Charlie, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. So there's always some form of agitation when your favorites are not nominated and, um, you know, that kind of stuff exists. So, yeah, I guess I understand that this is normal and um, it is expected. Over the years, it's always been like that, though, so, yeah. Okay, now let's look at some of the complaints that have come in. I, I just want to go straight to the point. <laughs> yeah, because... I know there are a lot of questions people want to ask, especially about the, the the nominations, not the awards itself. Because, well, when it gets to that, it is their votes that determine. Whoever yeah. is nominated is automatically a winner. It's just like you're putting them in in a pool where they're scrambled and boom, one one pops up and the person is a winner. Once you are in there... Um, probability you're going to win is very high. Everyone is a winner once you're nominated. Now, let me start with Dan Latte. He's asking, we all know Dan Latte, right? Journalist Dan Latte. Um, Dan Latte, Power FM? At, yeah. Okay. says, what does Kofi also be proud down to be ignored every year? Dude deserves at least a nomination. Very hardworking and visible. This young has decided not to talk about the list, but the way things they go, I have to cause A. Now, let me move... Um, let me move to same way Sister Fia is also speaking. This came recently. And she asked, have I offended someone at the high table Ghana Music Awards? The fact that Aswadin was a big song in 2021, zero nominations, which I still don't get. I learned people don't even file for nominations, but get nominations. Let me pause right there. Or let me continue and come back to it. The downplay on my efforts ever since I started doing music in Ghana hasn't been fair to my craft. And yes, it hurts because I work so hard. I've been quiet for so long because I have respect for the scheme and I don't want to step on no one's toes. Now, let me backtrack a bit to when she mentioned that, well, I hear people don't even file for nominations, but get nominations. Is that true? No. Um, so it's not entirely true. Like, what, what happens is that... Um, our research team, so you file for nominations, yes, and then our research team will also be at work. They are able to um, gather information about people or about songs that are need to be in the in the various categories, so to say. And then when that happens, you know, our team 
would um, reach out to your team to ensure that you give us the the right to be able to go further and then that makes it easier for us to be able to submit the content or the information to the board for review so yes um, that's that's what really happens and I think this particular point I've been explained over and over again but again I guess you may never know who's listening for the first time and what so. at all will make us say that in um, the industry, I, folks, I, I'm not, not long I'm not ago, sure. <laughs> Kelvin Boy also mentioned that, well, he didn't file yet, he got nominated. Well, if or, he, I think Kelvin Boy made such a statement. Well, it's, it's also unfortunate because um, the conversation is quite different. I think um, it was done by a, a member of his, of his team, so um, I don't have much to say about that. Mm. Okay. Now, to Sister Fia. She's asking whether she's offended you. <laughs> no, 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 no. She hasn't. Actually, um, when you were reading, you mentioned what in the um, that that she's been ignored or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in a, the twenty first edition of um, the Ghana, Ghana Music Awards, I think even at twenty second, she had nominations. She mentioned that yeah. "Aswadi" yeah. was a big song in twenty twenty one, but she, no, she's saying that it wasn't nominated. But yeah. what I'm saying is that she had nominations. In the twenty second edition, right, of the, right, right, yeah, and then she had a, she had nominations in the twenty first, I think corner corner and um, I think there was know. one she had nominations. She even came on the stage to perform, yeah, yeah. She gave an outstanding performance, exactly, yeah. So I'm not too sure where this is coming from, but then um, sister Fia, I mean, my number is an Ashawu number. <laughs> you can always reach out to me. I, I mean, like I'm accessible. So if you feel you're not too sure about what's going on, you can always have a conversation with me. But you you I don't <clears throat> I can't say you've stepped on anybody's toes. It's not about you stepping on anybody's toes we are just doing what we've been doing the th same thing we did that got you nominated is what we are still doing so um you know maybe say your number is on a show number if they call you what will change no no Will no you maybe, you know, sometimes maybe you're not clear about certain things if you put the information out there yeah it's it's loud everybody hears it yeah noted no problem whatsoever but does it give you the feedback that you're looking for you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you have, I believe that if you do have a problem, even if you put out information generally, try as much as possible to reach out and find out, okay, so this this is these are my concerns and I feel for whatever reason I'm being neglected or what, you know, just for you to get some clarity on issues. And if that is not the case, then, you know, you, you have clean mind and clean heart to be able to forge on, essentially. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, she's put out info, but my number is still available. Please do reach out and let's have a convo. Otherwise, I mean, I don't mind. I'll still find time and then reach out to her. I mean, now, now, let's look at the <clears throat> one-week omissions and error um, window. What's that all about? Okay, so um, I'm asking all of these questions for for the benefit of our listeners who may be first time hearers. Sorry, listeners or first time. Um, yeah, for, I mean, yeah, listeners of of the show again of hearing of that window because I know there are some people who may have never heard about it, and some people who are also in doubt. Uh, what at all is that for? Yeah, so and some also, please let me finish, with due respect. And some who also think that if your research team had done a good job, why open the window for corrections and what, 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 what? Yeah, so um, research will always do what they are supposed to do. But however, research, the findings they work with is usually based on information that they receive out there. So you give us information. We also go out there to look for information. Sometimes the information we get is is not in tandem with what you have. In fact, there was one particular case. I remember I had to um, call over and over again only to gain, gain clarity about what information that is out there being different from the information that they had submitted. You know, so I actually, you know, it was an issue of uh, when they giving us a false information because it was different from what had been published. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So that kind of stuff. So um, you, you have to keep digging. And so what if at the end of the day, the kind of feedback it gets um, is somewhat inaccurate? Then mm. what it means is that we are going to work with an inaccurate info. And if we work with inaccurate info, then what it means is that um, you are going to have errors in your in your publications and that's that's what you we end up getting it when that happens or situations where for example i think there was one with appeal tools and um every every year issue you know exactly that's information that we gathered however until it came out it, you know um, it, it, um, 
we didn't have the opportunity for it to be contested and therefore you know rectification made so that was that is the issue so we are saying that the one week error and omission if there is any omission if there is a, any error that has been committed um it's a window for some um for people who are impacted by this to be able to petition the board and get the board to be able to you know relook into whatever um have been submitted and to be able to make the right um, corrections if any any of such exist. So essentially, that's that's what it is to it. In statistics, you would clearly say that what there's something called margin of error. Every human institution comes with an element of, you know, um, error in there because we are not hundred percent. So um, yeah, I understand we are not hundred percent, but you know, you always want to be able to get there. So when you open up that window, it just makes it easier for you to be able to address issues if they should come up. For example. If a song wasn't included, which some people may think that, oh, if, or even the board may feel like, oh, that was an oversight. What happens? Can it be brought back? Now that nominations are out, artworks are out, distributed, gone globally, what's going to happen? Okay, so the, the, the name of the window is Error and omission mm. so if something has been omitted i don't see the reason why it cannot be put back yeah oh wow yeah wow then why are people i mean i don't think the, <laughs> the okay i'm trying to choose my words carefully because i was about to say the noise oh right. i mean it's it's normal people have to first of all you know um <laughs> Kwame does his runs. People have to first of all say they, what, what, what they feel like and then eventually, you know, follow the process. There are people that have seen their posts and as a matter of fact, actually, some of them have reached out, you know, we've had conversations about, you know, what is to be done. But later on, I realized that they had already made posts before they, they got through to me. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Roro Body uh, wrote... You know Engineer Roro, right? Producer yeah, Roro. Yes. Says, I laugh, sir. Hey, Ghana Music Awards, there. If you are not in their books, forget to. Get in their books, cough, get nominated, and even win. So you guys mean all the artists in the gospel categories out songs and numbers bigger than great tampon style BRB? Hey, which gospel song in 2023 really started trends and got everyone talking about? A song with millions of views on YouTube and over a million plays didn't even qualify to be nominated. You guys should keep working with emotions. Anyway, Guys, we're dropping a new banger soon. You know how we do it. Okay. That has also generated some uh, talkability on social media. Yeah. So, <clears throat> two things about this. The first one is an explanation about usually what happens when it comes to music selection. So, um, yeah, you could be in the basket because we have a lot of people, a lot of submissions made, review of documents, research information, material, um, on-air presenters who are giving us information, research data from different platforms, and then obviously the radio airplay, and then we also have our streaming numbers. Put them all together, you check the streets and everything in terms of our research, and then put them all together, you make a decision. Um, what it simply means is that in the ranking, some may fall off and some may actually make it. So mm -hmm. if they don't appear in there, it means it, they just didn't make the cut. But I, I can understand if you've worked so hard and you feel like you, sh you ought to be there and you can see some numbers out there for you and everything. So what we are saying is this, if you feel strongly about your position with respect to the fact that you ought to be there, 100% we support you by saying that go out there and send that particular petition to info at ghanamusicawards.com and then we will take a look into your submission again i mean clearly and we'll give you feedback if at the end of the day there is any merit to it the change will be made i think that's what is important and i can i can t attest to the fact that he will reached out to me okay and he's been given the information on how to go about it and um he has done that okay. so yeah so it's one of the things that will certainly be looked into so they stand a, a, a chance of of being added to the most popular song or gospel artist or gospel song of the year category? If there is any merit to it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I'm saying this because, I mean, he has put out something here. So clearly I also have to mention that um, the submission from their end has also come through, you know. So um, I like the fact that he's not just 
putting out info, but he's actually following the, the process that has been laid down as well. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. In this case, he said if, if, if you look at it and the artist merits it, what are the things you are looking out for? So it depends on what category and what they're asking for, really. So every category and what you are looking for. So you have to go back in there and review all the elements. If we review all the elements and there's any merit to it, why not? Yeah. Is it in this case numbers? Yeah, yeah everything. Variety? Everything. Everything. So every data that we have. And then, you know, we also asked for the performance sheets to be sent. So all of that and every information that we, we, we have, we'll just review those things. And then um, if there's any merit to it, why not? Do the artists send all of these performance sheets? Um, some. Some do send and some don't. What, what's on the performance sheet? It's basically supposed to be your the year in review, your, what, what your achievements are. It's just a matter of sending what, what yeah, your because, achievements are. Then, do all. Yeah, because you know, we are looking for information. <laughs> and rather than going to pick it up from elsewhere. like Which may be inaccurate. Exactly. You know, it's like you're going for an interview. You have your own CV. Don't let the person who is in front of you guess do submit it so that it becomes easier so we can make reference to it and authenticate yeah, it exactly so yeah so so then our research our research team will just try to validate the things you've said which makes it a bit easier and once we are able to get to that point then it means it means that um, it reduces the number of errors so that's why we introduced this a few two years ago or three years ago yeah and you know hopefully we should be able to get more coming in and you know with with things like this happening people people would realize that information of this nature is quite important you know because sometimes you later on hear a person did x person did y person did this person did that okay if you had added that to the submission you know that would have made a lot of you know um mm. sense at the beginning listen as in case you just helpful. tuned in you're listening to showbiz review i'm your host i'm in the studio with robert Kla. he's the pro for uh, he speaks for the VGMA, sorry, TGMAs. <laughs> oh my god, oh, hey, it's gonna take a while, it's just like entering a new year. You yeah, sign, you sign checks and you're still writing 2023. But can't they take away the, the, the sponsor's name for sure? Now they are, and do it. Let's yeah, yeah, no, that. Awards, bye or brought to you by because it's not your sponsor. Okay, those are sponsorship options that are mm. available, and at the end of the day. If you really want your event to happen, <laughs> <laughs> send in your comments. 054-884-1039. That is the WhatsApp number. On Facebook at Hits1039 at Andy Dusty GH. Uh, Twitter, please tweet. Uh, sorry, X. Please tweet. You see, maybe any X. Twitter. <laughs> uh, X. Tweet with the hashtag Daybreak Hits. Uh, all there is. I mean, any question at all you want to ask the PRO, he is here with us. Eventually, I open the phone lines for you, and so you can call in and ask questions. I know, I know that there is one question on the lips of many. But first, let's look at this from Jeff Senior. It says, what's Mabel Archery and Joyce Blessing doing at the Gospel Artist of the Year uh, category? And even to a larger extent, Diana Hamilton. They are cooking bank. Yes. Oh, please. You are now. You are now. Kwame Dazi, why do you mention your name? You say what are they doing? You have there? to retract that. And no, no, but it's a music awards. If you're asking what they are doing there, eh, but so one can hear they are cooking bangu. Say, <laughs> what are you? Doing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, Kwame, pa. Eh, but, eh. In fact, what them? And, and, and I retract. I retract. <laughs> I retract. I didn't know I was on. I was live on it. <laughs> Okay. Now, um, Jeff Senior says, yes, they had a good song. Uh, but what did they do as artists? I think Gospel Song of the Year is fine, but God no business as Gospel artists. We have artists on every tour and gigs at every corner of the country and doing well in their names. And their names are not there. And we are still playing politics. We are sorry because we have let you guys down. Kofi Pepra, SK Frimpon, Kwekuta, Sisibedu, etc. What merits a gospel art? What gets you into that gospel artist category? Well, basically... Um, let me read the category definition for clarity. So the, well, I don't know if the category definition will change. I doubt it, anyway. But this... Um, 
from 2023, which I'm very sure is still applied, right? Yeah. It says the best gospel artist is the artist adjudged by the academy board and the general public as the artist or artists with the highest audience appeal and popularity in the gospel genre. The artist must have released a hit single EP album during the year under review. So they qualify. Oh, I'm just wondering. I mean, if you take somebody like Dana Hamilton, Charlie, it's <laughs> he just wants his artists to be there, and these artists are not there. Well, so I he, al- he also mentioned from, Mabel Lochi so. enjoys blessing. Yeah, so you, I mean, it's Mabel Lochi had uh, one of the <clears throat> biggest hit songs. One of the biggest hit songs. Hi, mm-hmm. Maybe Lodge. And then Joyce Blessing also gave us victory, huh? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Huge. Yeah, so, I mean, for me, it's a, it's a matter of opinion. He thinks otherwise. You also mentioned tour and gigs. Mm-hmm. I know Maybe Lodge had been very busy. It's been a very busy year for her. Joyce Blessing, I cannot really tell, but I'm sure her performance sheets will, which is which may not be available for public consumption, but to the board or to um, the team. So it's it's heavily arguable with this, Jeff Senior. Okay. Now, Alligata is asking, you know Alligata? Hello, Mojata. Udo Ibe Kumyo. Sure, now guys, you see not. Hey, hello, Mojata. I'm not going to get my yard. He says, let's play a game. Fish out the two imposters on this list. In fact, Alagata... Oh, he posted? Yes. Okay. And he posted New Artist of the Year. Where New Artist of the Year means Banzi Banero, DSL, Kim Paluta, Maya Blue, Olive the Boy, and Osekum Sikeni. Six in there. Alagata is asking, fish out the two imposters on this list. Imposters. Oh, there are imposters in, in, in the list. That's like my boy giggling. This is wow. very unfair. And so he was asking people to fish them out. Yes. He couldn't fish them out. But he knew there were imposters. I mean, the he's asking people to fish So people fished them out for him? That I don't know. Okay. I'm only seeing a screenshot. Rob. Yeah, fish out too, and let's move on. I don't think. <laughs> are, there any are you not a fisherman? The first, are you not a fisherman? In the you first place, a, I am not a fisherman. TGMA fisherman. Henceforth, international, original international <laughs> fisherman. <laughs> no, I, just, I, I think that people have opinions, and that's fine. You know, just like even at the board sessions, it's it's not always, um, you know, everybody agreeing. Sometimes you have. 30% going in a different way. Sometimes you have 70% in a different way. Sometimes you even have 50-50 mm. back and forth and then you have to find a way eventually. So th- these arguments exist. But then again, if you feel strongly in a particular category that somebody <clears throat> somebody deserves it more than others, then it simply means that you are pointing to who deserves to win. You know, if you feel somebody deserves it more than somebody, that means you're just you're, you're, you're beginning to point to who deserves to win, and essentially that's 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 okay, that's understandable because from this particular level, the next phase is who deserves to win, and all of the elements you're looking at, or you may be pointing to, are the things you certainly need to be able to use in determining who who deserves to win. So that's fine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now, Kofi Donko, husband of Celestine Donko, is speaking. Mm-hmm. He's asking, why on earth is PSCS Mo missing here? Talking about Tell It's Almost Popular Song of the Year. Now, this this category is highly contested. Again, extremely controversial because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12! 12, 12 tough songs. Most popular songs of the year. Yet, some are omitted until now. <laughs> Organizers of the TGMAs aren't forgiven and they won't be spared at all until July 28th. <laughs> when Ghanaians may say, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. No, July 1st. So July 2nd. No. July 1st. Uh, a month after. Uh, you mean, hey? Uh, I mean, July 28th. I'm talking about, <laughs> about later. After, what where they say? After the, after the, after the, oh. You know what? <laughs> ah, when is that? Is it June or July? Yes, June. Uh, sorry, it's June 1st. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, confusion setting already. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you go mention July. <laughs> yeah, Wait, so that, that's w- June 1st. W- so, why is PSCS more? Erradi more, more, more. 
Why is it absent from the most popular song of the year? Because it's very popular. I'm sure it's got a lot of numbers. So big tune, yes, um, I agree. It's, it's a popular song, and so I'm sure it made it in the gospel song category. Um, if it didn't make it in the most popular song of the year category, then I'm sure it's because um, it just didn't make the cut. But then again, like we've said, opportunities for is for people. The, most the window song. is there for for a petition to be made if they believe that they have a strong case. You know, because we have that one week of errors it, and omission. It, it, most popular song is it technical or is is public? No, no, it's um, as in, is it technical? In is, is it is the voting? Is it is it is it for the board or oh, no? It's board academy. And oh, so, oh the okay, okay, yes. okay. Um, what determines the most popular song of the year? Is it purely numbers? No, it's everything. So you're looking at numbers. You're looking at um, the streets. You're looking at the by streets, numbers. We're talking board, about streets. The, the <laughs> king, in fact, the, the board chairman of the I'm streets. I'm a street king. <laughs> yes, it's here. Yeah, the board king. chairman See? of the streets. <laughs> Me deep on the streets. Yeah, man. <laughs> so it's the streets. So, so Kwame, the streets. Yeah, the streets. How did PSCS? Please, let's move away from you. Kwame, how did PSCS Mo do on the streets? Very well on the streets. <laughs> you you walk everywhere on the streets. You, you hear, hear you hear even at songs. Pops. Pops, drinking event, bars, wedding, drinking bars, funerals, drinking bar. And you could hear the song. I have the numbers to prove. <laughs> on the streets. On the streets. <laughs> what are the metrics? How does that not reflect in your data? The streets king is speaking. The street is watching. So you mean the VGMA, the TGMA only uses streams and radio airplay? What about the streets? He mentions streets. I streets. Even in church, the church one, the streets. Did you go to the streets where I, I, I went, the, the, where I walked? <laughs> where they were blazing. Where they were blazing. Literally, literally, literally. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Robert. <laughs> where they were what blazing. How, 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 blazing do you, how do you quantify the street numbers before you add to your data? I want to know because we, the street people, we are concerned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are research folks who give us information from the various regions across mm. um, the country, and we, we work with that. We also work with focus groups who also give us information on that, and then we you know, put that together. And then we also have the radio airplay information that we also use, and then we have the streaming numbers. So we say streets, streams, and then airplay. Put them together. SSE. <laughs> SSE. Yeah, man. SSE. South Saharan Africa. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we put them together, and um, at the end of the day, we use that to be able to determine who deserves so, to be in uh, there. Andy Abego, let me ask you that two <coughs> question. So, mm -hmm. uh, are you saying that streets, airplay, streams combined, ska, victory, were more popular than Mo or Kwekwanansi? Once the information is there. Oh, you've gone to Kwekwanansi already. <coughs> oh, sorry. Once the information is there, then it simply means that it's merit to it. But that's what I keep on saying. If it is there, it means there's merit to it. If it is not there, it means it didn't make the cut. Mm -hmm. But if for any reason you feel you have a very strong case, the one-week window is available. You understand? So all we need to do is to be able to go and petition the board via info at Ghana Music Awards. Wow. And that's it. So provided I have a strong case, let's say... Make the case. Kukwanansi is my song. Make the case. I have a strong case yes. to prove to you that I had more numbers than most of the people on, on that list. Are you going to take somebody out and put me there? It's not about numbers, per se. It's numbers and all the and other all things. That. But what I'm saying is that you make your case. If you make your case and there's any merit to it, what will be done? The, the board will make a decision to that okay. effect. And so is it, is it possible mm -hmm. for a name to be taken out from a particular list and another one replacing that name. I don't is know. About, I don't know about replacements or but addition. I believe that the board will do what has to be done. Now, is it possible to see other some names being added to the lists that we have already? I believe the, the board will there's do a possibility what has to be done because it's errors and omission. Is so there a possibility? So if it's an omission, then it means it has to be put back in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but we can take some people out as well. Um, if if there's if there's if there are grounds for uh, if there are grounds for it, but at the end of the day, I leave that as a um, for it, um, for the board to be able to call. That's a call for the board. Mm. I think one day you need to put together the board somewhere so you go and ship them. <laughs> um, that's violence. I believe that violence. Um, it's, violence. <laughs> it's FM. That's I'm not support any form of violence. Of <laughs> Please, you are not speaking on behalf of any on street. I'm um, um, if you. <laughs> <laughs> it's FM that's not support violence, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I'm speaking for the streets. You understand, understand where I'm coming I, from? I understand where you're coming from, 100%. Okay. But I just, I just want to be able to highlight this over and over again. If for any reason anybody has got any strong case, you can make your submission. That's the reason why we have the one-week error admission. It's available. And see, Amrado, yeah, no. Hmm. So, yeah, back to Amrado's case, yes. Okay. You should be able to, I mean... They have already contacted, and they have Amrado has contacted. Oh yeah, the, the team they've they've done the the they've why received. the original wasn't in there, yeah. and why the remix so, came. So they moved from social media to actually to personal contacting, media. <laughs> contacting us directly, and you know following what has to be done. So that information is out there. So for those who feel very strongly about it, yes, um, they have done the right thing, and I'm also oh uh, so they've submitted. Yeah, they've done the submission. Wow. Yeah, so yes, so that I'm sure the board will sit. On that, um, together with all the submissions. If they've submitted now, didn't they submit earlier? And if they didn't, no, they are why were they, they are crying? making a petition? Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, this the is one a... one-week window. Yeah, the one-week window. Yeah, they are taking advantage of the one-week window. In this case, 12 songs in the most popular category. It will, it will probably 12. be... The first, there's always a, something that would happen. Whatever. So are we gonna look? Are we gonna see about twenty songs? I don't know. I leave that for the board. It's a call of the board. I see. Yeah. Amrado stands a chance of of getting a score or if, nomination. If that is, if there he is merits, any merit to it, right? Yes. Can we also say somebody stands a chance of being eliminated from the list? Yeah. If. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because if, if, if let's see the, what the board merit, decides. Oh, hold on. If, if if for instance you are coming in, and there is a scar on you, maybe, or they feel like you are weak, maybe they check Amrado's numbers and he's sixteen million, right. and Kwame Dazi is uh, six million, million or one million. Meanwhile, earlier you were in there. Mm. Once the window is omission. Mm. It mm -hmm. means you may be omitted. Yes. And I just uh, and that's it. Hey, people go so bored. We on the streets are looking forward to so many things happening. So many Within omissions. One, one week window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I, <laughs> I, I hmm. speak for the street. There are a lot of questions for you on Facebook. A lot. Uh, Ebenezer Ansan says, apart from Terminator and maybe Nasi said that there was no song in that category which was popular than Kweku Anasi. Evans D. Koja said, please, why is Amrado's song not in the most popular song? I think, um, uh, why is guy Kobe replies and he says, it didn't make it to the cut. No this and no peace. <laughs> 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 Ebenezer Ansan says, Mr. Andy, to be honest, Kiddies Leko and Black Shaib Yaya wasn't popular at all. Palutas Yahiti remix, Amrado Kweku and Nancy, even Sarko Dias Trimi song to Ivan Nelson were all popular than these songs. Caleb hmm. uh, Nee Boy, a uh, British, no, British burger. And a uh, um, UK, I'm going to say, 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 Robert, I'm going to say, UK, I'm going to say, it's a burger in America. Yeah. It's UK, UK, a what is the UK? British burger, I'm a say. Right now, I'm on, British. Hot, I'm on a hot seat. So you are hot, eh? You your, your accent is oh, missing. Oh <laughs> <laughs> your British accent is missing. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? Caleb <laughs> Newboy said, the way Kwame Dazi is talking as if he is not part of the board now, so Caleb, you can have come come on for it. Diabonio man, come on. Ubi Asma. Wise guy, uh, wise guy, please. I, I'm I'm about to read your comments. I just saw your name. Wise guy. Kobe. He says, Joyce Blessings Victory was popular on the streets than PSCS. PSCS says Mo. Joyce Blessings Victory was on everyone's lips than Mo. Everywhere you pass, Victory, Victory. Big ups to Kwame Eugene for the production. Um, Wise guy, Kobe, is asking no group of the year. Why? In this case, two bars, producer two bars, is on X asking. Hi Andy, I want to know why there is still no producer of the year list out. I feel like the efforts of producers and sound engineers are really undermined by the board. Why should sound engineer of the year be determined by a song winning record of the year? Okay. Let's so, answer um, that before we go to the for producer group. of the year, um 
that is what the producer of the year and engineer of the year. Those are some um, some of the categories that are yet to be announced. Producer of the year is supposed to be based on the number of hits that has been given off in a year, and so. Because so it wouldn't come from a particular um, artist and his repertoire. No, okay. and so because of that, and because of the omission and um, omission and error. What it means is that it's possible that the numbers may change if any adjustment is made after the window of omission and error. And so we um, that particular, um, these two categories are going to come out right after the, um, the window of omission and error. So that if there's any correction done, then we know that, okay, it reflects in the producer of the year, the numbers, because the numbers are in there and it has to matter. With respect to the sound engineer, that's tied to the record of the year. So, um, well, at the moment, that's what it is. We believe that if the if the sound engineer is selected, it has to be based on the fact that we are talking about the most, um, you know, the record of year category actually looks at music in its entirety, in like an entire song, how it's well, how it's production Produce. and all the elements and all artistic and everything that makes it stand out as a record. So basically, that's why it's tied to it, not your repertoire or anything of some sort. So that is the definition or that is the... Um, that is what warrants the nature of, you know, you being selected in the um, engineer, sound engineer of the year um, in, in that particular category. So those two categories are yet to be announced. I think um, with respect to that, we also have the Unsung. Unsung is also going to be announced this week. And then um, quite a number, I think um, a few others like um, Music for Good um, and the Lifetime Achievement Award right. and um, Traditional, you know, those, are, I think about seven in all, mm. those are going to be announced, you know, over the period. So, yes, um, um, they should just watch out for that. Now, GH underscore, Sperry is asking, please ask him about the group of the year for me. Could it be that the group of the year will also be announced later or it's been scrapped for the year? Group of the year, again, um, I think that the year that we rested, it was because it was no longer competitive. And we did not say it had, it had been scrapped. What we said was, was that we're resting it until such a time where we felt we had en enough numbers within the space to be able to compete for it. That so, wouldn't it be um, <laughs> like you are stifling people who are existing? For example, Keche. Well, Keche is still doing well and they're giving us hits. Keche... If I'm a member of Keche, I'll feel bad. Like, wait a minute. Why don't you give it to us? Because it's our year. We've given out, for example, the year last year. The party song. It was good. And because no one is competing, what? You won't give me an award. What for? I have, I've given you hits. Check out my numbers. They but are doing I, well. It's supposed to be competitive. It's supposed to be a competitive What I'm category. saying is that <clears throat> if there is no competitor, yet I'm doing music... Give it to me. Eh? Yeah, so if that happens ah, like once, Anna. if that happens like once or twice, then that's fine. We've but seen the likes of R2Bs. There, there wasn't any competitor yet. Nothing came. Keche, same. At a point, they were doing so well. There, were, there wasn't any competitor. Shim. Ah. We are begging. Okay. I, I like the way you answer it sometimes. Oh, my, it's okay. Well, I hear, like, like, but, but are we sure we don't have groups in this? In this in Charlie, no, so there are gospel if, groups here. So, so clearly. Dope what, Nation. I hear you, but what Fra I'm saying is this. Look into the nominees mm -hmm. now and tell me the groups and therefore why we need to have a category for them if it's supposed to be competitive. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you don't have them at the moment. So what we're saying is um, if there comes a time where we have the numbers in that particular category, then of course there is. Dope be Nation released there. songs last year. Keche, Fra is even com competing. So at least you have about three. R2B is also released last year, right? So at least you have about four R2Bs last year. They released an album. And that was last. So you see, the thing is, if, if no, it was two years ago, and two if you end up doing it that way, then what it means is that every year you just put the. The, the groups together, the groups together, and say okay because it has to be grouped, so you find them and then place them in there. You but that, you be it must be encouraging as well. Oh there. yeah, we understand, but it's not like the, in any like there is no group of the year. There's no group in Ghana that is being disenfranchised from any of the other categories. A group can win artist of the year, so really it's just an extra category that had been created to recognize groups on their own merit. So if it's no longer competitive. Then at the end of the day, um, it's it's resting is just so that once it assumes 
it assumes its competitive nature, then you know it can be reinstated. But if it's not, then at this point, once the decision has been made, that's it. Okay. 95 volume TSS, please. And today, give Robert two bottles of water because he will explain tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite group, Better Revival Choir. Um, Juma uh, Cassandra says, Andy, the international collaboration of the year had water water, which belongs to Odomudu Black and Battle My Bread, which belongs to Jay Zeno. How did non Ghanaian artists have the nomination? International collaboration of the year. The definition, and we can always look it up, the definition makes room for um, collaborations. Either you are featured on or you have featured the international oh, act. Yeah, okay. so both ways. Okay. It, it works in both ways. So the reverse is uh, true. So you, you're either featuring or you, uh, you've you been featured. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Apia, Edward said, Paluta should be in the Artist of the Year category. Paluta has been in the system since, since. Why nominate him as the new artist? Every song he features becomes a hit and has done a lot in this. Well, it looks like you are, you, you don't really know much. Because lots of Noah comes to response said, do you really understand the definition of the category? Go read it again and come back. And he says, why not explain to me? You could just help me understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Osa Davis says, Champ, Capodosti, greetings, sir. Tell us how Ghana Music Awards. Wow, congratulations to them. They've always been in the news. Should we say they are they are good with their marketing strategy? The talk about it comes with it. I like that, though. One of the world's favorite award schemes. Can we look at Nipai be a Cobra song? <laughs> Nipai be a Cobra! Yes! Nipai Why was it not nominated? Hey, we Nipai will not cobra. agree. Uh, Dr. Pounce's, uh, what's the name? Something Wicked Awards. Was that not the most popular song? That won the award for most popular song. It means, tell it so. Ghana Music Awards, you don't respect Something Wicked Awards. On this FM. <laughs> and you, even TGMA must wait. be given an award. <laughs> you can just call me Whip. <laughs> I said <laughs> Wait. I said uh -huh. Wait. <laughs> TJ! <laughs> I'm Andy Dusty, please. My name is Andy Dusty. No, wait, wait, wait. Moya, <laughs> uh, Moya, hey! The what's, award, what's the, the guy's the award scheme. <laughs> Sergio! Sergio must arrange so that VJ may say. Oh, he there by all means. No, we forgive you and then we for fire you people. Because this is a family. I'm open to him as an underground artist of the decade. <laughs> 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 Something wicked that was. <laughs> oh my Jimmy Ruff. We tell me you're more artist of the year. Mr. Mingan. Put the mouth simple. Hey. Nipa be a cobra. Talking about new artist of the year, Chief One wasn't considered. Okay. Erika J. Sandy, I please. I think Chief One was. It was not until last year. year. Last year, yeah. 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 Mm. And go for her. Um. Uh, Erika J. said, what about Chief One? Is he still underground artist? Please. Um. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Please. Uh, Soka says, what, what, what? Sorry, I cannot read your comments. Thank you. Caleb Newboy says, I've been wanting to ask why Kwekwan has remixed and not the original. Did the artist show interest in that or did the board call him to clarify where his interest lies and now the board used the discretion to decide? If they did the latter, then they haven't been fair to Amrado and you might walk home empty on the night. The impact the original made is bigger than the remix. Yes. Richard Ankuma says, um, yeah, yeah. He says, and you just, Amrado also posted that he doesn't understand why the original version uh, was submitted from the popular. Okay, I think we've addressed that. Okay, right. I think the Amrado case is what, like, you know, one of the biggest uh, keep people, people keep talking about. Mm. But as said, it's been... The engagement with the party has been established so clearly, and the, uh, and the board has uh, been. People petitioned. really think the original did better than the remix. Yeah, numbers. Don't you think so? Numbers. Oh, don't you know? So? Yeah. Wow, I actually thought the remix did did better than the original. Mm. Uh well. Uh, Poko said she. Asa Asaka is please. Asaka is not a group. Asaka is a collective. Is 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 not is not a group. Please explain. Yeah. Uh, it's a collective. Yes, I'm a senior group. Uh, Fefe Kobo. Uh, Fefe Kobo. Ah. Yeah. So. Oh, say. Oh, but young Brani, young Kobo. Yeah, young Kobo. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
prior to the announcement. Hey, did I finish? The, did I finish? Eh? Uh, I think. Please forgive me. Okay, don't worry. Because uh, these are concerns from industry Let's groups. Let's read them. So they are the reason we are here. If I have not, uh, I think I'm rather the no. Mm. But we need now. Yeah, Obi Amponsa is also saying that you know Obi Amponsa comedian. Yeah, he says Terminator is the only song that comes close to the popularity of Amrado's. Okay, so it's it's all intertwined. Yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. So I, I was talking about how happy I am that Ghana Music Awards is back, and they they still have a headline sponsor because I read somewhere and I laughed. <laughs> Somebody had written as if he had concrete evidence that oh. This year, Ghana Music Awards will not get a headline sponsor. They may struggle and <laughs> because Vodafone uh, is off and the new ones say they will not do it. And I'm saying, hey, people get feel loud. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm happy that uh, it's back with a headline sponsor. Now the controversies regarding the Ghana Music Awards, it's a human institution. And every year, no matter how hard the board works, we will have some of these controversies. I wouldn't say the board can work 100%. The board may you know, have some lapses here and there, but it's human beings that will work, and we always wish that things get better with time. If you cast your mind back to 25 years ago when the award scheme started, you know things were not as they are right now, but through people's complaints, our, our reviews, and all the ideas that we bring forth when we are having our discussions, now we see the Ghana Music Awards the way it is right now. So I believe that anybody who has complaints or uh, things that we can actually bring together to help make uh, the VGMA, TGMA better should do so. It's it's all part of the process of making sure we have a very solid um, award scheme. But I keep asking, you know, years ago, I was very, very, very loud on social media, on radio, newspaper, bashing. I've bashed them, I still have bashed them. You get it. But can it be that we, we should stop, as in the boss should stop explaining things? Because I've never seen any Grammy PR go around explain. Um, this is why this person was not nominated. Uh, Kanye didn't make it because of that. Is it even necessary for... The VGA, yeah, the so, TGMA to go around explaining why certain people didn't get nominated. Is, is so, it so you realize that I'm not here to explain why people are not nominated. I'm oh, just okay. here to explain how the scheme works. Okay. And to also inform you that if if you didn't get nomination, then it is because you probably didn't make the cut. And that's it. Oh, that's the it. The details about how it was done and stuff like that, that's, the, you know, if, if, if it was part of the policy of the scheme, to showcase everything that happened in the boardroom, I'm sure we would have had cameras and put, you know put other information. I, okay. So, so the, what we usually do is to explain that we take data, we take information from certain people, just so that people understand what goes into it. But in terms of the details and how it's done and what we do and stuff like that, that is really not um, oh, okay. um, part of the reasons why. No, I, I thought it creates a burden for you people. You know, always going around after nominations are out to explain to people. No, no, no. It doesn't create any better. No, no. It's, it's, it's rather it's, boosts the publicity and the visibility. No, no. I, right? I said, um, if there is clarity required, you would certainly try to establish some clarity. But you do that knowing that um, it is not to justify what has been done. Once it's been done, it's been done. And once um, a particular window has been created, you take advantage of that window to seek your seek for redress if there is a need or if, you, if there's any merit to it and that's okay. it you know so here right now is to let you know that the work has been done I appreciate the effort of the board I appreciate everybody who was part to it in terms of research every information we got out there and to be able to clearly say that if for any reason somebody has not been selected please that window is available okay yeah please okay. utilize that particular platform to be able to access the board to have a review of your submission if there is any merit to it. I came in, uh, came in a bit late. I don't know if you spoke about the Ampon issue too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same thing. That Still the beard. Um, um, Ampon's issue is with Roro, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, like I'm saying, he, I've already mentioned earlier, he's also reached out and he's been told exactly how to handle the situation and he has done that. Yes, submission has been made. Song. Yes. Mm. Let's release another song. Oh, then he has to capitalize on that to quickly, you know, make waves. Um, uh, Trek is here. Mr. Mr. Trek. Mr. Trek is here. 
<laughs> uh, okay, since your mouth is shaking. <laughs> Really have you seen your mouth? It was shaking. Actually. Can you see your mouth? Because I no, know. can you see your mouth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bed, Charles. Uh, well, okay. Please go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, it's quite expected that people come out anytime the list is released to express their disappointment, vent their spleen, and I mean, say all of. Bravo. I mean, some of these things. So, it, it is not something new. However, when those concerns come, I mean, like Charterhouse has provided a platform. They are showing that they are listening. They are not just taking everything hook, line, and sinker, but will look at the merit of whatever concerns people have and will address it accordingly. And that is the most important thing because the scheme is done for a, a certain stakeholder community. community. And that stakeholder community should always have that chance to to be heard, and that is what they have provided. So, uh, all we pray for is that the scheme grows and become bigger, and put in mechanisms to further, I mean, do away with the challenges people think they are facing. However, if if you look at the kind of bruhaha which was surrounding the whole thing, it was as if like there were serious problems. Like the whole thing was fraught with challenges. But if you put people to the test, I mean some of these critical issues they are raising will not be will not be even up to like five or four. You understand? So I mean we need to appreciate the efforts effort of the team. If you look at the year under review, there were a couple of people who even thought that they would not even get song to categorize them. However, they were able to, I mean, stand day and night to come out with some of these beautiful things. And if you look, followed the trend, I mean, this is what most of the other award schemes capitalize on to do their categorization. After VGMA has done this. And uh, we believe that at the end of the day, these issues will be addressed and i mean before we have the main event i will all be uh, having a good time so uh we wish them all the best the artists who also have worked hard and feel like they were ignored they should not be dumping in terms of their ability to create i mean they should continue with the hard work the people are watching them i mean that satisfaction alone is enough to reward their hard work. So uh, they should keep working hard. We all get better. All right, listeners. But Andy, before that, I would like to say a very big thank you to Ghana. I mean, those who turned out at uh, the Resurrection Effect concert, it was amazing. Just right. that we have some small technical hitch. And as a result of that, we are coming out with a track reloaded to award you make to sure re- Jesus to re- dies again so you to reward their their <laughs> unflinching support to the team. It was amazing yesterday. I right. Mean, packed auditorium, everything amazing. All right. We, we really uh, James Mary says, please I beg tell Mr. Kla, make them add beef or this song's category to their scheme. At least some Yanum to get talent oh, for that one they'll be like like the librarian we go take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Nana Nana Kwesi says and I don't agree with Robert saying it should be competitive before they give out the award. I agree with you com- completely. If there's only one group and they're doing music and doing it well, they should be awarded. It's a matter of opinion. So he's expressed his. I have also expressed our position on this. And we are all allowed to have our opinions. Mm. So 95 volunteers. So please, I want to find out from Robert if Paris Music did file Mibobahe in the songwriter nomination. And also how far can the politics in the scheme go on? Um, I'm not too sure about politics because, um, you know, the parties that are out there for... Okay, let me, let me go there. <laughs> I'm not too sure about politics. Um, if anything is in there in terms of submission made and uh, submission reviewed, whatever they are saying in terms of results, it's a reflection of what the board thinks in their wisdom should be there. And hence, the reason why it is there. Mm. Listeners, star 281 hash. I want you to share your opinions. Uh, I'll be right back. When I come back, 0548841039, 0302216567, 216568.
Call in and let's hear you. Please do well to be decent with your comments and questions. Robert Lai is here to answer all your questions regarding the Telecel Ghana Music Awards. Stay with us. Ghana Fui! Franco! Esa the electrical appliances for Frabe Josuo! Washing machine! Asian woman in Yopo! Um, it's Showbiz Review. A big thank you to Telecel, Game Park. A big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise. 0302-216-567-216-568. You can now call and ask all your questions. Mr. Kla is here. And the chair he's seated on is very, very hot. So, if you're asking questions, please make sure there's a fire extinguisher <laughs> sitting by him or standing by him so that when the fire erupts, it can be extinguished. Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, you know, in other words, when you say, like, a lady is hot, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Oh, it, it, means. it means you are uh, it's attractive. Exactly. The not chair in, is attractive. Not in your case. <laughs> Uh, you are trying to say you are <laughs> living the dead ghost syndrome. <laughs> yeah. 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 Until be a case. Right. Yeah. When, when, when the nominees are out, Robert's position does not become that attractive. You don't wish you are in Never, 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 <laughs> when never. When the list comes, Charlie. Mm. You just need to push him, more, provoke him. You fool in Kahua. Mm. Just push some small oh, the other side of him. Robert, Robert, <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to these, sometimes he acts like he's unscathed. Oh, wow. You know? If yeah. you push in the car, just step on his balls. You just say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kwame. Eh? Okay. Step on what? Get the best out of every brush with close-up toothpaste. <laughs> close-up complete fresh protection. Close up red hot ever fresh. Close up mental ever fresh. The new close up complete fresh protection toothpaste has eucalyptus mint, which fights germs, cleanses deeply, gives strong teeth and fresh breath. Close up red hot ever fresh and close up mental ever fresh also have the unique enhanced ingredients of purifying gel, high school crystals, and antibacterial mouthwash that fights off 99% of bacteria and seals in freshness. Mama, get close up today. Hey, you've heard of the Preby Cups. And back on an extraordinary journey as children dive into 21 days of reading during the qualification stage of the inter-school reading quiz. Our Preby Cups team will be visiting 15 schools, capturing the inspiring moments as young readers gear up for the ultimate challenge. Please call 0535-207-920. That's right.
0302216. Show me this. All 0302216567216568. Dear cherished customers, Telesell Ghana is delighted to inform you that they have successfully secured 100% of their internet capacity and data services on both their mobile and fixed are being fully restored. They sincerely appreciate your patience during the downtime. Please be assured that their team has started work on refunds of expired bundles and related issues. Telesell, connecting energies. Thank you. Telesell. Okay. Get me my first call up, please. Let's hear what Ghanaians have to say about the Telesell Ghana Music Awards. Jija. Jija. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ghana. I mean, TMW. Mm. Hey. Onipa nyeo na... Oh, no. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I said unscathed. It means unharmed and fa- like and cannot. You know, I said. Then, 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 then. When I said the Robert appears unscathed, unscathed when s- s- these bullets are made them a bread. I do good morning. Morning, Mister Andy. Yes, you're on air. Uh, okay, um, I want to ask Robert if. Uh, Best rap performance uh, category, like is it based on votes or is it, is it the academy that actually uh, Did you hear that? <clears throat> yeah, best rap. So it's, I think he's asking about um, rap performance. Right. So that is basically um, work of the academy and uh, board. Mm. Okay. All right. Keep your comments coming. I'm going to read that. Could you say one say, Andy, don't you think Robert dies is here because of the pressure that comes when the release is out? <laughs> <laughs> ah, true. Maybe true. Yeah. Ah, because this red thing was go- he took it off last. Yeah, After but last is, year, that's branding. Yeah. Elvis Delali Al Lamte says, bro, there are so many groups in Ghana. Opening up that category will then make it very competitive. Okay. Well noted. Yeah. Benson Lawson said the original song is more popular than the remix. Ah, uh, Haruna Nas STB says, boss, the new artist category I suggest should be the breakthrough artist. Some of these guys have been artists for long, but had no greater exposure or breakthrough. I'm sure it will be God if it will be good if the board considers that. I'm sure that's what he's trying to say. Pep Junior, oh Pep, what's up? He says, I think the group definition. Uh, the group of the year definition should be altered a bit to collective of the year so it makes way for other groups or collectives to get nominations. At the Brits, the group of the, of the year doesn't necessarily mean group of the year but collective as well. So year as the year goes by, the award schemes must be innovative. Okay. Um, Do I have a caller? Please give me my next caller. That's an interesting point. Mm. Well noted, Pep. Mm. Mm. Hello, good morning. <sighs> oh, okay, right. Ebenezer says, Jebad or Baima and Odo were also popular on the streets, but every street guy has the song. First of all, was a place, Andy. The people of Brekuma are appealing for the nominees jam because all the LA artists can testify to the fact that we've held the music industry down for some time now. Okay, please push this for me. Brekum. He's, he's been at it, but. Yeah. The, the Brekum guy. He's been at it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Every time. He posted the post every, every, every time. Yeah. Uh, I, I I think the, the TGMA must consider going there. Well noted. Even as Ansan says, Mr. Andy, this year we beg them, it's time for Kim Promise to also shine. The guy has worked and still working. This should be his year. Give him the artist of the year. The industry should rally behind him this time. Kwame Dazi, we beg all of you. King Promise also deserves to be the artist of the year. Kitty and Eugene all won before. And they are not doing better than promised. We beg, we beg, Mr. Andy. Thank you, somebody, then. Okay, yeah, it's a survivor. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Andy. Yes, sir. Uh, please, I wanted to ask that uh, if I said, come to Kenya, also a new, a new artist. Well, this is, the f- this is his first appearance on this on this scheme, so. Oh, okay. But, Mr. Andy, I want, I want you to put my, my boy be on for me. At a VGM, eh? No, not BGM. I, 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 I want to like, make you see how you get some, one or a couple of songs we 
the whole area or they storm the whole area, but I won't. In your area, out. okay. Yeah. Which area? Are they uh, media come? Where is that, please? Media come uh, there uh, from the twenty five. Hope it's VR. Okay, right. Okay. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Do you have any artists in your area too? I'm now scouting. Yeah. Adam, you did you discover any artists at Trek yesterday? Oh, uh, Samuel Bassi. Samuel Bassi. He's an awesome minister. Okay, Check we'll, him out on all social media. We'll, we'll put we'll Samuel put him on. It's Empress Give Dixon or Psycho just says, Brandy, why was Jay Bad or Don not nominated for Hip Life Song of the Year? The song has over 20 million streams on Audio Mac and Spotify. Eddie, Eddie said, why are you guys pretending you are not part of the board? Master, stop being... Okay, Yate. Who is that? Uh, I was a friend, Eddie. Who is that? Eddie, Eddie. E-D-D-Y, E-D-D-I-E. Yate. No more, Kasa. No more, Fa. I think you'll be a memoir in you. There must be some sort of insult. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Um. I guess that'll be it. I guess that'll be it. Then come on here, DBA. Rob, what have been to be discussed? Is there anything you want to add, please? Um. Yeah. So the first is the fact that we have the one week window. Um. Anybody else? When will it close, please? Um. That should be Friday. Hey. How many submissions have you had so far? I will have to check. I, there were a few people I asked for them to copy me directly because they got in touch. So um, those ones I'm in copy of the mail, so I actually saw them. But then they are, the rest I just need to be able to when I get back to the office and then see the submissions that have come through, and then that would be it. Um, this week we are going to be announcing the unsung category. Uh, I know quite a number of people who are itching to hear who gets um, nominated in that category. So yes, please. Wait for that. It's going to happen this week, and the details will be coming out shortly. And then, after this, we should be getting ready to begin our voting, which should happen some, from somewhere next week, hopefully, after we've um, dealt with everything pertaining to the errors and omissions window. So 1st of June is a big night. Um, let's have that in mind. And um, in between now and that particular time, quite a number of things will be unveiled. So, um, yeah, stick to our social media platforms for more information Tajimus. all right thank you very Tajimus. much listeners this is where we end it thank you robert tomorrow uh if any other comment come up please tomorrow you have to address it for now i wish you well and i want you to be strong eat for us sleep properly let your wife cook give you a one week window Mm. <laughs> mm. For omissions and errors, now you can even sleep by your wife and mention some girl's name. Your wife should consider because your mind is really confused. Like, I'm uh, mm, sorry, oh baby. <laughs> yes, your wife should consider. Uh, uh, oh, one week isn't enough. Uh, maybe two weeks. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm just imagining the number of calls. The whole had, country, you gave them one week when, when the nominations came out. <laughs> Charlie, Sat Close. Friday, Saturday. Charlie. You, didn't, you didn't get insults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listeners, this is where we end it. Thank you very much. We'll be back same time tomorrow for yet another interesting edition. But before I go, I swear on God. In a land where dreams are often created.